I guess just on, on that that Hendon Hooker interception there, did, did he and Javante were they just on different pages? And uh, what do you think of Hendon overall? Yeah, uh, I thought uh, Hendon battled all night long. Uh, you know, I thought he was really efficient for for the most part during the the football game. Um, you know, some of the early drives uh, we got stopped in short yard situations where the ball wasn't necessarily in his hands. Um, you know, I thought he continued to fight and play in the, in the second half and and uh, had some uh, some big time plays. Uh, didn't get uh, you know enough going in the running game during the course of, of the early part of the game, and, and that's uh, you know a, a big part of why the game played out the way that it did. On that play in particular, those two guys were just on on, uh, on different pages there. Sparks than David Pascal. Yeah, Josh, this is a game where you could have set hit Hendon, set out a uh, tie on. Instead, you, you put those guys up, out there to win. What do you think that message said to your team about the importance of this game? Our team fighting plays the way they do because they believe in, in uh, what we're doing and who we are. Uh, they believe that, you know, we had an opportunity to come here and, and win a football game. Uh, that's the way that they played for, for three quarters. Didn't have enough in the fourth quarter to, to go get it done. Um, Hendon was able to, to get enough work during the, season, or during the week to, to be ready to play. Ty on the same thing. If guys are ready to go. They're gonna, they are gonna want to get on the field and go compete. <clears throat> Josh, like I said, I think everybody missed your opening, so I po apologize if you addressed this. But um, with the running game, was it something they did uh, to hold you to – were they daring you to throw and, and, and load in the box? Why, why did you struggle running the ball all night like that? You know, as much as anything, just got beat on, on a couple things inside in, in some critical situations. Um, you know, didn't win our one-on-ones up front and, and uh, weren't able to operate efficiently enough. How much was Kate a factor in that, not being there, do you think? Yeah, for sure. Uh, Kate's a big part of, of who we are on the offensive line. Uh, I thought Dane, you know, filled in and, and did a lot, a lot of really good things tonight. Than Chris Clark. Yeah, Josh, on that that fourth and one around midfield, did you consider going for that at any point? And then on the the Byron Young touchdown run that looked like he fumbled and recovered, what was the explanation that you got from the officials on that? Uh, the, the fourth down uh, did consider going for it, and then uh, uh, communicated to, to move to punt, and uh, we didn't get to get our punt uh, punt team on there um, on the. Uh, the scramble uh, that turned into a touchdown for them. Uh, initially, I was just talking to the side judge, and, and he said that the box uh, didn't have a view uh, for it to uh, to be overturned. Uh, basically, that he had crossed the goal line based on the footage that they had. I uh, continued to communicate with him, um, told him I was you know close to, to burning timeout, and, and uh, then they ended up reviewing it from up top. And not only did they decided it was a fumble. They decided it was a touchdown too, uh, where our guy ended up with the football on the uh, coming out of the pile. Coach, you guys sound tough for, um, you know, pretty much all of the game and we got to the fourth quarter, uh, gave up a little bit more, gave up more points in the fourth than obviously they had had going through the first three. Would you attribute that to some of the injuries that we saw throughout the night or was Alabama just doing something else that, uh, you didn't, that we didn't foresee coming? Had a hard time hearing the, the question. I think it was just about the points that they scored in the fourth quarter. I tried to um, cover that a little bit in, in my opening statement. I thought defensively competed extremely hard and well for, for three quarters. I thought in the fourth quarter just kind of wore out a, a little bit. And, and, you know, that's offensively not helping enough and, and staying on the field in some of those uh, third down conversions. You look at the third down conversion rate for us offensively, not, not nearly good enough. And, uh, um, you know, then defensively, uh, just on the field too much and, and some of that is all three phases playing together some of that's you know them getting off the field on some third downs too then adam sparks josh on those third down conversions just what did you see uh kind of led to alabama having so much success on third down sorry i, I really couldn't make that question out Just on, on those third down conversions, uh, just what did you see that led to Alabama having so much success? 
some, some of it was uh, short yard situations early in the football game. Um, a couple times we're in, in third and ones and, and aren't able to pick it up. Um, you know, just us being on the same page and, and uh, getting a hat on a hat. Um, at sometimes, you know, you got to get pat under pat at, at the running back position and, and plow forward too. Um, you know, some of the third downs, just protection broke down. Uh, I thought, you know, in the second quarter in particular, there's some things that we did that, that put us in third and long situations uh, as well. Just, you know, not uh, not doing the simple things, the ordinary things at a really high level, alignment, assignment, and, and technique. So um, there's ways that uh, that we got to grow. And that's why I said in the locker room to this football team, don't question the way they show up and compete every Saturday. Love that about this group. Love love going and competing with them, man. Uh, tonight was a lot of fun for, for three quarters with these guys. Uh, we just got to grow up and, and be smarter here. Our margins are, are smaller and tighter than you want. Uh, they know that. We know that. Um, we got to fight to to be on the right side of that. Josh, your defense kept you in the game when your offense was struggling. What did that tell you about your defense's sense of responsibility to keep it close? It's who they are as competitors. They line up. They're going to fight with everything that they got. They're going to be relentless in their effort. Uh, the way that they ran to the football, um, you know, the pressure that we got up for, uh, up front, you know, quarterback obviously is a really good player, got out, made plays with his feet. Um, they continue to line up and, and uh, go compete, man. Um, I love that group. Brown. But you guys didn't have uh, Warren Burrell and Theo left the game in the first half. First, does, does you have any update on those guys? Secondly, uh, Haddon and, and Slaughter and Turnage all got extra playing time. How do you think they did just in the course of the game? Yeah, uh, Warren, just illness, wasn't able to play uh, tonight. Uh, Theo got, got banged up early and, and wasn't able to come back. Um, Nico did some really positive things. Uh, Kamal, you know, the last couple of weeks has done uh, some really nice things on, on, the, on the football field as he continues to grow in, in what we're doing defensively. Um, you know, I, he's continuing to, to, to mature and, and understand what we're doing and, and play, um, you know, with, uh, with better understanding of his technique, better understanding the scheme, and, and, uh, and then being able to go make plays too. On the uh, on the block punt with Deshaun, was that something you guys saw on film, or is that just a great play on his part? Uh, something that we saw, Coach Ike and, and uh, staff did a really good job scheming it up, uh, working it during the course of the week. Um, Ruck did a great job of going out and executing. It's not just him; it's the guys around him uh, doing the right thing at the right time too. Uh, our special teams played really well tonight. Um, I, I like the the effort and strain that they played with. They competed really hard. They went out and executed our game plan really well. Trey Wallace, then David Pascal. Hey, Josh, what do you guys have to do on, on first down? Uh, tonight, all of them had 33 first downs compared to your, your 10 first downs. Then you look at the third downs as well, two for 13. Well, was there opportunities tonight where you saw maybe him and could have took off and, and picked up that first down? Or were you guys playing more towards the pass, uh, dealing with his knee injury? Be honest, I had a hard time understanding any of that question. The audio is pretty rough, probably like you guys had at the beginning when you couldn't understand me. Um, Just talking about your first downs tonight, Josh. You had 10 first downs compared to their 33. Yeah. Yeah, it's a huge bearing on the football game. You, you look yeah, at third down, okay. that's, that's a big part. They were able to stay on the field offensively, not consistently enough. Had some uh, some big plays uh, during the course of the game. Once we picked up the first first down, had a ton of success uh, for most of the night. Josh, you've reached your first open uh, date. Or What do you hope to get out of this next week? Well, let's let's start by trying to get some guys healthy. <laughs> we're, we're at that point in the season, and, and you guys know um, a big part of it is uh, – is us getting healthy here this week. At the same time, um, you know, we got a third of our season that's left here, back uh, four games, um, making a decision that collectively as a group and individually that uh, we're going to go fight and strain to, to make the changes that we need to to play uh, our absolute best football. We play really hard. We have to play smarter. Our margins aren't, aren't wide enough uh, for us not to, uh, to play a little bit smarter than we did tonight.